These are admittedly the worst guitar pedal ideas I've had. Starting off with the very worst one. This pedal needs a key to unlock it, otherwise it will not work. The key is a simple switch that either connects or disconnects the circuit to power. I made this earlier version and guess what? I lost the key. Thankfully this tiny key works on both, but if I lose this one, I may or may not have two broken pedals. This is an overdrive that I made that has 10 different clipping options and guess what? I can't hear a difference between any of them. You can point to like volume and feel differences, but not one that makes a substantial change to the sound. Like I'm never gonna listen to a distorted guitar part that is buried in a mix and think, wow, that would have sounded better with asymmetrical LEDs instead of symmetrical silicon. Uh. And the main thing that I find with these pedals that have more than like two clipping options is that you are so paralyzed with choice. So out of all these 10 options, I've just kind of settled on one and that's what the pedal is now. I'm never gonna change it from that one. So yeah, 10 options, 